Alright, welcome back to Timbux2. Didn't think I'd be starting this up. Lucky had the audacity to start an Outbreak stream, and damn, I wanted to both play and watch that. But I did say I'd be doing some Timbux2 after the weekly one-shot, and as ever, I'm a man of my word, right? So here we are. When we left off, we decided that it was simply unforgivable to allow Portugal to ally with France. They are mutually friendly, and whilst France might have plenty of diplo relations, that's not a guarantee that they wouldn't end up allying Portugal. Actually, maybe it is. I don't know how the hard cap on AI is there, but nonetheless, France could easily lose one of their allies and grab Portugal, and that would make life very hard for us if Portugal came to fight us again, because France most certainly wants our land. We can see that right there, once our provinces of uh, Trarza and Kaor. Soon they'll be wanting a whole lot more. Now we roughed up Kielba before, they're still getting the Ethiopian treatment. We punched out Mutapa, who we'll try to integrate as soon as possible because he holds valuable gold provinces that deserve to be ours. Two, three, four, five, six, seven development of gold, whilst we took four for ourselves. Here's hoping we can get that ASAP. There's a bit of a problem though, I declared this war as quickly as I could. Why don't you ensure the BI for what? No idea. Uh, I declared war on Portugal even though we were in a foul position to be attacking them. My army is spread out and a lot of it is in South Africa and not ready to go and kick them in the teeth. But it was better than that than wait and see them get an alliance with France. So we've got Mutapa, we've got Morocco and we've got our own balls of steel as well as plenty of dosh. I don't think there's much I have to worry about. Colonization would be nice. Austria is not about to be our friend anytime soon. Where is Swellendam? A swing and a miss, I'm afraid. I don't want that province. That's a thought, actually. I want to be colonizing out here. Let's send you out as soon as possible. There are two extremely high development provinces out here. Extremely... it's all relative, but... Extremely high for, um... Uninhabited islands, at least. Now I want to get these guys over to here and march them up as fast as I can. That means scrambling my fleet together. And what else is there to think about? There's this. The enemy have a lot. 30... 30 many... 40,000 Portuguese. I'm sure they're going to pull out a few more. But when we declared this war, we knew that we were at war with Kichi, Portuguese conquest of Chacoajal. And we can be pretty confident that it's a... let's see, it's just at war with Kitsch. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven occupations. So there's a lot over there. Here's hoping that uh, the Portuguese are still pretty busy over there and that we can catch them with their salted cod around their ankles. Sorry, that's the only insult against the Portuguese I know. It's not even an insult, it's just saying the word salted cod. But we shouldn't worry about that. What we should do is slow things down, unpause, and get to war. Bollocks. Well, our enemies are now going to enjoy a lovely bonus to their everything because they're on crusade against us. Hopefully that doesn't make France think it's a great idea to come and kick my keister as well. I'm unsure about you. You're just jiving there, but I might just leave you be. You might come in handy. So, what am I doing? I'm getting my mercenaries over there first and foremost. Get in, please. And I want all of my uh, transport ships down here to ship these guys around. I wish I had a more impressive navy. I do not. You've got a lot of conquering to do, by the way. What did you get for dinner? Well, I had some, uh, I had some peppers left over, and I had some potatoes and onions and all that. So I thought I would fry them all up together with some sweet chili sauce and have that with some potatoes. Then I saw that I had some Weetabix and some milk that was going to go off, so I ate some Weetabix. I love Weetabix. Okay, so what are these losers doing? Well, ideally I want Morocco to attach to me as soon as possible. We have friendlies can attach. We have him on supportive, so here's hoping that works. I guess I could start marching up and hope that he actually sticks to me like glue. Uh, I don't think we'll need anyone on that just yet, and we do have you exploring. Good. I can handle this. I just need to get my units up here ASAP. I am extremely worried about the Papal State. I wouldn't be worried if this wasn't very hard mode, but since it is very hard mode, I know that the Pope boy has 
Tons of boats, because he certainly has the economy for it. Yeesh. Don't like that at all. Oh well, onwards. Salted cod is the national dish of Portugal. Bacalhau. Yeah. If I was on the ball, I would have looked up some insults towards the Portuguese before starting the stream. Sadly, I did not. So I need to get everybody up here and ready to repel anyone that attacks. Don't know why Morocco is just sitting around smelling their own farts, though. I need you to attach to me. Mintmaster is dead. Okay. Production efficiency man. Well, I think I wanted you all along. You'll make me some money, and he will actually reduce my inflation too, because I will be uh, less reliant on gold by having him there. So it doesn't look like the Portuguese are coming down in a hurry. This is great news for me. Ooh! We couldn't see this before, could we? Ming are doing pretty solidly themselves. Plenty of tributaries. But then, no big surprise there. Manchu formed. Hmm. Neat. Just say they speak Brazilian and it's okay. Hmm. So I could call them vintage Brazilians. That sounds about right. We'll have our boats over there. Let me think. We have 27,000. And I have how many lights? 16 lights. That's a couple of trips, but taking you away, that's 15. Alright. Not lights, transports. Don't even know the terminology in this game. That's how uh, behind the times I am. What am I going to want with you guys? What do I have here? I don't know. I do not know. Da, da, da. Okay, well I can at least send a scouting party north. Can the Pope be a general? Not anymore. Battle Pope days are sadly done. Monastic Order uh, rulers, they can still be generals however. But that makes a lot of thematic sense. Alright, Morocco, what are you up to? You should be coming and uh, getting to know me. Also, yeah, these explorers take forever to arrive. Get in, please. There's only one place I'm left able to claim off of Kilwa. I'm going to want to gobble up this because the key to my riches is going to be the Zanzibar trade node. Since the dawn of time, that's been the way to go forward. Jake, what's the reasoning behind banning battle popes? Are there at least any events for the pope to lead army? Nah. This was done before my time, or rather, before I was uh, in charge of making such decisions. But uh, the idea of the pope himself riding into battle doesn't really hold much water. It is cool, I'll give you that. But it's not very uh, believable. What is Morocco up to? Hang on. I'm very confused. Why is Morocco not in this war? He's not on scootage or anything. He can't be on scootage. He's a march. What? Okay. Okay. That seems very strange. I... Yes, I should be bringing that in with me. Maybe it's because I declared war and saved, and then saved when he when we declared the war. Oh, but we let a day pass. I have no idea. That is certainly not working as designed, though. I did not make marches to have them not come into war. I feel like I should be declaring war on you for such insubordination. Damn. Okay, that makes things seven thousand soldiers harder. Oh well, we're popping up to have a look anyway. I just hope the Portuguese don't get a drop on us there, but I need my units over here pretty badly. Still waiting on them coming, but here's hoping that the Pope takes a while to get organized as well. Portugal is just about to wrap up their war. they got 92% war score. Come on, guys. Come on. 11,000, 12, 13, 14, 15,000. Yeah, this is going to be a two-trip job anyway. You have a buffer zone now, Jake. Nah, because they give us military access, they would give them military access as well. Oh well, let's get to work. Mm, that's plenty. Hmm. Oh 
always good to get you guys up there first, right? Right. Get it, please. I'll make the mercs take the um, the shorter route, and they can walk up. I am scared, senseless of the Pope, though. Pope's armies are scary. Twenty-four, and another eight, and another fourteen. Oh well, do what we must for we can. Yakas yeah, defeat. Dealing with their own rebels, Mutapa's just chilling there, they got no reason not to. And I'm kinda glad that Morocco took Toat, gives me this lovely route up north. And it also means I don't have to keep colonizing Toat to get the uh, the bonus to my own research. Happy days, really. Mm, discovered in Portugal. Soon, very soon, I want to be able to <clears throat> study technology, so I want to dip tech 9. Sadly though, I can't be focusing on this. Not until uh, 1560. We'll get there, though. What is happening with the Ottomans? They are getting particularists. Tons of them, whilst they're in a war with Timurids. Not a lot of sense made there, but I think... Muscovy as well? Timurids and Muscovy? Ah, Timurids were guaranteed by Muscovy, so I think the Ottomans are in for a very bad time. Which... Is also bad times for us. Uh, okay, seems that Conquistador is now dead. Tragic news, our Conquistador is dead. The expedition was traveling. He encountered these warlike tribes. Okay. He refused the order, died riddled with bullets. The expedition member saw his body brought ashore, hacked to pieces. Only one survived. Well, that's not very good. Now we have you not finding more uh, more cities of gold for us. Could get a conquistador and you could continue on your merry way, or I could just tell you to sit around there for a while. You're not doing anything of use. Mm. I mean, you're kind of stuck there now. Why are you stuck here? How did you get here? So many questions and no answers. Well, you know, it's just a bit of mill, and it's not like the next one's super important, so get back to... Oh, what a useless guy. Get back to work. Just teleport a new one over there. Oh, we did. I guess, lore-wise, we hired one uh, that we found there. Alright, march on up. Hang on, I didn't take my... Oh, well, whatever. Why worry about the small stuff? Okay, no Portuguese here. They would be marching on me pretty quickly if they could. So what's going on here? I want to get to work so he doesn't recruit anything down here, although he could probably walk down here anyway. Uh, just take the cheap guy. Tariffs. What a joke. Alright, what are we doing here then? I kind of want to test the waters here. That should be about right, and then I can hightail it if things go rough. Because I certainly know my army isn't good enough to be taken on Portuguese. No, wait, that, that's, that's too empowering to the Portuguese. Hmm. All right, you know what? Balls to the walls. If we find any Portuguese, I am turning back so fast. I'm also kind of concerned about them landing around here because we don't have everything sealed off. That's where you guys come in, and you guys come in on the double now. All right, so I need to watch this one like a hawk. Maybe they can't ask for military access through Castile. That would be a blessing, but they give access to the Pope, which means they give it conditionally to everybody else. Got a diplomat who's free and not working. Where could I be making claims? Where should I be making claims? I want to be able to take over this island super fast. Once I'm done with this war, I need to think about a rapid expansion over in this direction and sealing off the Zanzibar trade node for yours truly. So I see no problem with building this one up right now. And if I need a free diplomat, I can always unstick myself to France. What's the situation? 
That's the situation. That is a bunch of Portuguese who need to die, actually. That is also a bunch of Portuguese that I could rip to shreds with what we have here. Six, seven, eight against six. My downside is no general here. He does have a general. I can double back with one, though. Mind you, he's also stuck there. I could just sit and take the province and then I'd have a general. Yeah, that's another way to do it, isn't it? But he's going to die. That's good, though. That's pretty good. Jake, how do you plan on making more money? I just said, the key to all riches is Zanzibar. I'm not in a position to own the English trade node, and taking Seville would be a pipe dream. It also means I would want to cap off Genoa. My position is great to take Zanzibar. Zanzibar is fed by all of this, and you can cap it at the Cape of Good Hope, which means no matter how strong... Uh, what am I trying to say here? People won't have any basis to throw ships and drag trade power away from me, and they won't be able to propagate any power if they don't have anything in the Cape of Good Hope. Clogging off the Cape of Good Hope just means taking the coastline here. That's a lot of provinces that I'm not really in a position to take right now, but I will take them. My day will come. Boy, I wish Morocco was helping me here, because the fire phase comes first. Okay, guys, get on the boat. Get on the boats. Might as well do whatever direction. Uh... Ooh, that takes extra. Also, I do not trust those numbers. I know they're a bit uh, foobar sometimes. Alright, so we'll have this very soon. I will bring in a general and I will smash you to pieces. No Portuguese up here either. Okay, good. Very good. Not half bad, even. Also, he teleported away his general, so I think he knows he's going to... Oh dear, what's this? What is this? Going to the... Okay, they're going there. It's a lot of stuff I don't like. You guys need to get landed pretty soon. So I need you guys up and around here. Nupe has plenty. Okay, we can do this yet. I'm taking all of this. You guys might be better off helping out down here if I'm going to be fighting anyway. Mmm, Portuguese scum here, there, and everywhere. Jake, lazy colonist. Also, Portuguese colony next to your lands. I'm glad we got extra pairs of eyes here. Uh, okay, Calabar has been taken. And this is where my other colonist is going to go, which is why he's lazy. I can think of no better use for him while I wait on that. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good. Fire phase comes first, though. I'll just kill him with what we have here. We can flank him plenty with that. But I could flank him plentier with these guys, and it doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Come on, folks. I'm a bit worried. Matt Solo. That's this province. It's disgusting fetishist, and I don't want it revolting on me. And it's good development, so there we go. Good development of... Ugh, wood. How do you not notice that your people are crossing a Portuguese colony? Um... Easily? It's very easy the way I can not notice things. Alright, well, might as well get to work on Fez. Ag Abba would bring it down faster. There's a good chance he would die. But, uh, mm, er, it's probably not worth his life there. Come on, he's 26. He can survive. This doesn't look good, though. Oh, hang on. If he's going over here, then he's probably going to... Has he finished up his war? He's still fighting. Okay, we need to hit hard and fast, because if he's uh, still got troops committed over there, then that's great news for us. Meanwhile, tell me more about this province. 
so that I can colonize it by waiting a year for anyone of importance to arrive there. Okay, you're there. Can you get there in time? No, of course not. Can you get there in time? Probably not. Just land then. Good job. On the double, please. Oh, hang on, isn't this where the uh, Speedy Gonzales is meant to be? Alright, time to put the Portuguese in their place. Just bent over and crying. Not happy about this at all. At least at most it's 15,000 Portuguese on the way. Well, I kind of left that battle because I was confident I would crush them, but this isn't very crushing. Look at their morale. Where are they getting all that morale? Crusade, prestige, army tradition, power projection, Jose Corte Real, military drill, inspiring leader. Good gravy. I'm glad they've got uh, cannons at Tech 12. Because cannons at Tech 12 don't mean a damn thing to me. Get out of here. Vintage Brazilians go home. Oh, that worked. Let's chase him down. Mm. He really... If he had units around here, he would have thrown a lot more at me by now. Blindly believing that, let's carry on. Now, what are the Pope men up to? I actually don't want Yakan Pretender Rebels to win over here, because I actually put my own dynasty right there. But on the flip side, do we really care that much? And my thought is no. I can install another one. Also, no battle pope is about to. Ave Maria, Jake. What? Last year you forced stream, I saw England, Great Britain force limit was like 160k. What modifiers do they get to that? I don't know. What stream were you watching? Oh, was it this one? In which case, do... So, what was it? England, Great Britain. 91 force limit. I mean, everything is increased by 50% because it's very hard. Everybody except for myself and my subjects get a 50% force limit bonus. Alright, Pope. You dog. What are you up to? If you land here, then I'm going to be ready for you. He's blockading. He's arriving in Benin. I do not have... Damn, I don't have... No, I do have mercenaries here. Some of them, at least. I can give him a minus three on this. And I can remind him which phase comes first as well. I wonder if I can get to Benin in time. 14th of February, 16th of February. Wow, he is going to die, isn't he? Well, one can only hope. Situation up here looks amazing. Where the heck are all the Portuguese? Well, let's just get to work. Okay, now I know about this, we can go and uh, colonize it whilst I think what else to do. I can see just about everything I want to see around here, and I also want to see what my colonial range is. It's nowhere near getting onto that. I'm going to have to project myself over to uh, Diego Garcia and then go further afield from there. Mahe is okay, but I mean, these provinces are so good. 551. I want it bad. No, uh, no natives whatsoever, though. I should Once this war is over, I will rethink my native policy because I want to be colonizing faster. The reason I'm waiting for this war to be over is so that I can actually march through this land. I won't have to worry about marching around here, because we now have a good beachhead against Kielwa. Alright, I hope the Pope doesn't hit like a goddamn truck again. I've fought him before, where he goes like, oh, I've got all these, uh, all these bonuses that make me fight so hard. It was a while back when we added uh, extra discipline to him through an early event. Okay, what am I trying to look at here? Do I want to know more around here? Of course I do. That would be East Indian Ocean, I guess. Alright, no matter how hard he can hit, I'm sure we'll be okay here. 
and I don't see many or even any uh, Portuguese of concern. And he's just done fighting Kichi, so I really want my units. 